I, I can tell you that the vast, vast majority of the conversations uh, that we've had over the last uh, three or four days have been about uh, other subjects, and there has been a fantastic degree of harmony. I mean, uh, between the leaders of the uh, of our of our country. I, I, what I'm saying is that uh, well, we will do uh, whatever it takes to protect the territorial integrity of the uh, of the UK. But actually, what happened at this uh, summit was that there was a colossal uh, amount of work uh, on subjects that had absolutely nothing to do with Brexit, and uh, together with our European friends and, and partners, uh, we're, we're launching all sorts of projects for the for the benefit of the of the world. And we, we will sort that out, but. Um, uh, you know, I think I'm going to stick with what I've, what I've said yesterday. A week ago, I asked my fellow leaders to help in uh, preparing and providing the doses we need to vaccinate the whole world by the end of 2022. I'm very pleased to announce that this weekend, leaders have pledged over 1 billion doses, either directly or through funding to COVAX. That includes 100 million from the UK to the world's poorest countries, which is another, another big step towards vaccinating the world. And that's in addition to everything scientists and governments and the pharmaceutical industry have done so far to roll out one of the largest vaccination programs in history.